This is the introduction to uh, our unit on magnetism. Okay, so uh, the idea for today is to know what materials are magnetic and some of the uses of them, describe how magnets interact with each other and be able to be confident enough to draw field lines around various magnets. Okay, first up, magnets and magnetic materials. A magnetic material is a material that is attracted to a magnet. So a material doesn't have to be a magnet in order for it to be a magnetic material. Uh, magnets can be permanent or induced. When magnetic material touches or is brought near to the pole of a permanent magnet, it becomes a magnet itself. Okay, now the only things that are the only uh, metals that are magnetic are iron, nickel, nickel, and cobalt. So those are the only uh, magnetic materials. All right, uh, but remember these aren't magnets themselves. But you can sometimes create a magnet by bringing them close or rubbing them along the poles of a magnet. Okay, and you may have done that in lesson. Uh, in uh, compasses, the specification wants you to have an awareness that a compass is just actually a, a very simple magnet. And what you can do, you can make one yourself if you want to, you can get a needle. And if you rub the needle along the north pole of a magnet, then effectively that needle becomes magnetized. And then if you place it onto some kind of cork on a dish of water, then that could or should align itself with the Earth's magnetic field. So really all compasses, any compass that, uh, that you've used or could use, will have a, a simple bar magnet. And I've got some pictures underneath here of some uh, general compasses. Okay, now the, we've mentioned the Earth's magnetic field. The, the Earth does have a magnetic field around it. This diagram shows you it. Now these, we'll come to these in a second. These compasses are pointing the, 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 in the direction of the magnetic field. Uh, the, the, where does this come from? Well, the Earth's core contains a lot of iron, and this is the uh, this is what's suggested. This is the evidence that is responsible for the Earth's magnetic field. But uh, this is how, this is how we can navigate. Uh, compasses would be useless if our planet didn't have a magnetic field. But unfortunately, it's not quite as simple as what you can see on screen. It looks a little bit more like this, so you can see it's not, it's far more complicated. And but the, the Earth's magnetic field as well, just as a quick aside, how does the Earth's magnetic field keep us alive? Well, the charged particles that uh, come from the sun, or often called the solar wind, uh, would destroy our atmosphere if the Earth's magnetic field didn't sort of channel and, and focus the, the solar wind or the charged particles. And this is responsible for something called the northern lights, which you may have seen, uh, seen or heard of. Uh, does the Earth's magnetic field ever change direction? Well, yes, it does. And there's evidence that it's currently in the process of doing this. And this is from the evidence in uh, the rocks. Uh, and due to the, the movement of the Earth's tectonic plates, you might have done in geography, we can see that over the many, many thousands, hundreds of thousands of years, that the Earth's magnetic field does indeed change direction. Okay, so very simple stuff. How do magnets interact? Two south poles pointing at each other, obviously they will repel. Two north poles pointing at each other, they repel. A north and a south pole will attract. More importantly, how do we show this on a diagram? Now what you can use, you might have done this in lesson, you can get out little compasses and if you pl place them around a magnet, you will see that the compass follows the line of what we would say the line of the magnetic field. Oops, sorry. Or you can shake iron filings and the iron filings end up in a position that a line is aligned to the lines of the magnetic field. So this whole area around a magnet, and this is where a force acts on another magnet or a magnetic material, this is what we call the magnetic field. So it's the area around a magnet. The poles are where the field is the strongest. So you can see from this diagram the poles are where the field is the strongest and you can plot them as I say using iron filings or compasses. Uh, but remember magnetism is, is an example of a non-contact force. So these compasses are being moved as a force on this compass even though it's not in contact with the magnet. Okay, so how do we draw these? Obviously quite complicated to show them like in the last diagram. You do quite simply, you take this diagram and you simplify it by just showing fewer field lines. So you can see on the left, the iron filings, on the right, a simplified diagram. So what can we say about this? The arrows show the direction of the magnetic field and the field lines always go from north to south. 
Okay, and how close the lines are gives you an idea of the strength of the magnetic field. So on this diagram at the poles, you can see that the lines are much closer, so therefore the magnetic field would be much stronger. So you do need to know how to draw them. And just finally, as a quick finish, could we draw the field lines for these? So this is a north and a south pole. Okay, so the north and the south pole will be... Uh, the field line is going straight between the North and the South Pole to show the attraction. And then finally here, I haven't got that diagram right, this should be a North and a North Pole. So a North and a North Pole here uh, will be repulsion, so you can see that these field lines are moving away from the North Pole. And they would head back to the South Pole of that bar magnet. Okay, so just make sure you can interpret a little bit and sketch or draw magnetic fields.